the next question these infections transfer from mother to child during intra uterine parental condition now this is the body of the mother this is the mother uterus inside uterus the baby develops so called intra uterine development now in the mother uterus this part we call it as pl means placenta attached to the placenta what is present the embryo present now this one we call it as the embryo now the mother has been suffering from the hiv virus and hbv virus the transmission methods for hiv and hbv almost all the same if the mother has been suffering from the hiv virus as well as hbv virus through placenta enters into the body of the embryo because in the mother uterus from the mother body all are supplied to the embryo with the help of the placenta now here these infections transfer from mother to the child during intra uterine parental condition that is one is hiv virus and the second one is hbv virus now the next question class 1 mhc molecules now here as we observe the th cell and tc cell now one antigen enters into the body one antigen enters into the body the antigen freely moves in the blood plasma the freely moving antigen recognized by the b cell the t cells do not recognize freely moving antigens whenever the t cells recognize the antigen whenever the antigen associated with mhc what is meant by mhc major histocompatibility it is a protein molecule and it is encoded by a gene in our body one gene gene means part of the dna the gene produces a protein that protein becomes major histocompatibility the mhc is of two types class 1 and class 2 now on all apc on all apc that means antigen presenting cells on all apc what type of mhc present mhc 2 now as we observe the nucleated cells participate in the immunity one example is altered cell on the surface of altered cell this is altered cell on its surface what is present class 1 mhc now you observe the question mhc one molecules will always present the processed antigenic polypeptide bonds to these cells and now this is the altered cell it is called the altered cell it is present in our body now the endogenous antigen enters into altered cell because of the endogenous antigen in our body this cell gets infection 
Now the endogenous antigen enters into altered cell. Inside altered cell, the antigen undergoes processing. That means the antigen divides into smaller pieces. After completing the processes, the antigen represented in the form of peptides. Now on the surface of altered cell, what type of MHC is present MHC1? Now on the MHC1, the endogenous antigen is represented in the form of peptides. Now you have to observe the diagram. Now this endogenous antigen recognized by the TC cell. On its surface the TCR, T cell receptor. Now on the TC what type of marking is present? CD8. Now the TC cell recognizes the peptides of antigen which are present on MHC1 of what type of cell? Altered cell. Now here again the question class 1 MHC molecules will always present the processed antigenic polypeptide bonds to what type of cells? TC. We have to observe the third option. TC, its marking is CD8. Now the next question. From this onwards, we have to discuss the multiple alleles that we call it as blood groups. Now as we observe the blood groups, phenotypically, how many blood groups are present? Four. A blood group, B, AB and O blood group. Now as we observe the A blood group, it has homozygous dominant and heterozygous. B blood group, homozygous dominant, heterozygous. AB, it is co-dominant, always heterozygous. And O blood group, homozygous recessive. So phenotypically number of blood groups, four. Now, what is the genotype? As we observe the A blood group, IA, 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 IO, homozygous dominant and heterozygous. And what about the B, IB, 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 IO, homozygous dominant, heterozygous. AB, IA, IB, IA, IB, heterozygous, both are dominant. And O, it is represented as small i, small i or i o, i o. It is homozygous recessive. Now this is one genotype, second genotype, third genotype, fourth genotype, fifth genotype and this is the sixth genotype. Number of genotypes, six. Number of phenotypes, four. Now this is a small idea regarding the blood groups. Now here what is the question? Four babies born in a hospital on the same night and got interchanged. Again repeating, four babies born in a hospital on the same night and got interchanged. Match the blood groups of babies with that of their parents so that the babies can be hand over to the respective parents. Now here, on one side, the blood group of baby. Other side, blood group of parent. Now you observe. Here, the blood group of baby, A. So here, the baby blood group is A. It is hand over to. Such baby is a hand over to. What type of parent? A, B and O. Here, these two are the parents. Here the genotype IA, IB and O, IO, IO. Now if we are going for the cross, we are getting A blood group, B blood group, A blood group and B blood group. Now here blood type of first baby A so that 
the baby having a blood group and over to what type of parents a b o that means father and the mother having a b and o now second baby blood group is b such baby and over to what type of parents now this is the b father blood group b mother blood group b now i b i b i b i b now we are getting the b blood group r father mother blood group b if they are heterozygous i b i o i b i o we have to observe we are getting the b 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 no doubt the second baby blood group is b and over to what type of parents the parents having the b blood group now the next one is third baby blood group is ab now the third baby and over to what type of parents now father blood group a mother blood group b and now as we observe the a blood group i a i a i b i b homozygous dominant homozygous dominant we are getting a b we are getting a b now we are getting a b and we are getting a b so the third baby blood group is a b such a third baby and over to what type of parents those parents having the homozygous a homozygous b now the fourth baby blood group is o now such a baby and over to father blood group is o mother blood group is o and there is no chance it is homozygous recessive i o i o now we are getting o o so based on this information what is the answer the fourth one now the next question you observe the question blood type of man a man blood group is said to be a now and that of his wife is wife blood group is b now father of both of them it means is father and her father now father of both of them are o here the man blood group is a is father blood group is o if the father blood group is o no doubt he is going to become heterozygous wife blood group is b wife father blood group is o no doubt her blood group is b heterozygous okay now blood type of that may be found in their children now these two persons are married now here man blood group a wife blood group b what is the genotype i a i o here i b i o now we go for the cross we are getting a b and we are getting b and we are getting a and we are getting o if heterozygous man marries heterozygous woman in their children what is the possibility of the blood groups a b b a o now based on that you have to observe the correct answer is the correct answer is third option a b a and o four blood groups are going to observe in their children third option is correct next question in a medico legal case 
accidentally enter change of two babies in a hospital. In a hospital regarding one case, the two babies are interchanged. The baby of the blood group A, here two babies are present, they are interchanged in the hospital accidentally. The baby of the blood group A should not be given to a couple with. Again repeating, the baby of the blood group A should not be given to a couple with. Now, as we observe the answer, here the answer is the father is B blood group and mother is O blood group. Now, the father and the mother. Father blood group is B and mother blood group is O. Now we go for if father is homogeneous I B I B I O I O. Now you observe we are getting what type of blood group? The B. But here the baby blood group is A. So that such baby is not given to these parents. Again we go. If the father is, father blood group is B. If the father is heterogeneous, you have to observe I B I O. Mother O blood group. That means I O I O. Now we go for the cross. B O B and O. So that here four options are given the two babies are interchanged. One baby blood group is A. Such baby is not given to what type of parents? Those parents having B and O. Now, as we observe the cross, anywhere we should not get the A. So, such baby is not given to what type of parents? Father B blood group and mother O blood group. Next question. Hemolytic disorder of the newborn occurs. Hemolytic disorder also called HDNB. Because of this disease, the baby dies inside the mother uterus or after gestation period. The baby dies. There is no doubt the baby is going to die inside the mother uterus or after completing the gestation period. HDNB is going to observe. Now, I am giving a table regarding the REH antigen. If REH antigen present, REH positive. If there is no REH antigen, REH negative. Now, here as we observe the table, mother, father and baby. We are speaking regarding the disease HDNB. If mother is having REH antigen, father also having REH antigen, their children do not get this disease. Mother, no REH antigen. Father, no REH antigen. Their children do not get this disease. And mother having REH antigen. Father has no REH antigen. And again their children do not get this disease. Whenever we are going to get the problem, if the mother has no REH antigen, father has REH antigen, then we are going to observe HDNB. If father is homozygous for REH antigen, if father is homozygous for REH antigen, no doubt the second child definitely gets HDNB. If the father is heterogeneous for REH antigen, there is 50-50 chances of HDNB to the second child. If father is homogeneous for the REH antigen, definitely the second baby gets HDNB. The second baby dies. If the father is 
for the RH antigen, the second baby may or may not get the HDNB. Whenever we are getting this problem, if mother has no RH antigen, then only we are going to get this problem. Here what is the question? HDNB occurs. Now this is the mother and this is mother uterus and the placenta and the baby is going to develop. Now this is the embryo. Now as we observe the embryo, in the embryo body what is present? RH antigen present. The mother has no RH antigen. So, HDNB is going to occur between mother without RH antigen, baby with RH antigen. So, automatically we are going to observe what type of disease HDNB. So, regarding this table, if mother has no RH antigen, father has RH antigen, definitely the children going to get the HDNB. Whenever, if the father is homogeneous for the RH antigen, second baby get the HDNB. If the father heterogeneous for the RH antigen, the second baby may or may not get B. HDNB, it may be shifted to other child. Now, based on this information, the correct answer is the third one. Now, if the parents are homozygous A negative and homozygous O positive, the blood group not possible in the children or progeny. You observe the question we have to discuss. If the parents are homozygous, now the father and the mother. Now the father blood group is A and the mother blood group is O. Here father is A negative, that means no RH antigen. But what they are asking homozygous and the mother blood group is O positive homogeneous. Mother blood group is O. What is present? RH antigen. Father blood group is A. What is absent? RH antigen. Now here homogeneous. That means as we observe the A blood group, here they are asking homogeneous. IA, IA. Now O, no doubt, always homogeneous recessive. Here A negative, that means no RH antigen. And here RH antigen present. Now, IA, IO, we are getting A. And plus, minus. And we are getting A. Plus, minus. And we are getting A. Plus, minus. And we are getting A plus minus. Now, here what type of blood groups are not possible in their children? Here A positive because RH antigen present. A positive RH antigen present. A positive RH antigen. A positive RH antigen. Here the first option A negative that is not possible. Here A positive. And O positive, we are not getting the O. And O negative, we are not getting the O negative. So, all options are correct. The correct answer is the fourth one. We are not getting A negative, O positive, O negative. What we are getting? Only A positive. Now, the next one is. Antibodies do not occur naturally in the blood groups of. Now, as we observe blood groups A, B, AB and O. Now, in the A blood group, what is the antigen A? What is the antibody B? Now, in the B blood group, what is the antigen B? And what is the antibody A? Now, in the AB blood group, only antigens, no antibodies. What about the O blood group? No antigens, only antibodies. 
ए पॉजिटिव ए पॉजिटिव मीन्स वाट इज प्रेजेंट आर एच एंड जन ए नेगेटिव मीन्स नो आर एच एंड जन बी पॉजिटिव मीन्स आर एच एंड जन प्रेजेंट बी नेगेटिव आर एच एंड जन एबसेंट ए बी पॉजिटिव दट मीन्स आर एच एंड जन प्रेजेंट ए बी नेगेटिव नो आर एच एंड जन ओ पॉजिटिव आर एच एंड जन प्रेजेंट ओ नेगेटिव आर एच एंड जन एबसेंट here what they are asking antibodies do not occur now as we observe the ab blood group in the ab blood group plasma no antibodies antibodies do not occur naturally in the blood groups of ab positive in the ab positive a antigen b antigen or h antigen three are present but no antibodies now the answer is third one a b positive the next one is a r e h positive woman you observe the question here the woman as we observe the woman r e h positive that means she has r e h antigen whose father was rh negative the woman's father is rh negative the father has no rh antigen his daughter woman uh, has rh antigen now what is the genotype of this woman that is definitely heterozygous now a rh positive woman whose father father was rh negative it means what is the genotype of woman no doubt she has rh antigen but heterozygous condition now woman she has rh antigen but heterozygous why she is heterozygous her father is rh negative now she married a man without rh antigen the man he has no rh antigen now if we go for the cross here the baby has rh antigen now you go the baby has no rh antigen now rh antigen present now no rh antigen 1 1 1 one. as we observe the children out of four no rh antigen no rh antigen so how many do not get 50% out of 4 how many do not get 2 so here the answer is the 50% next question a case was brought before a judge a case was brought before a judge in which a woman of blood group o a case was brought before a judge what is that case in which a woman a blood group that means here the woman blood group is o she brought a case before a judge the woman's blood group is o presented a baby this woman presented a baby before the judge the baby blood group is also o now a case was brought before a judge in which a woman of blood group o presented a baby with blood group o she claims as her child that means what she is saying this baby is myself this baby is mine 
my blood group is o and my baby blood group is o so the baby is mine that is explaining the woman to a judge now which she claims as her child next she claimed a man as the child's father she is telling what she is telling a man is the father of this baby if the judge declares that her claim cannot be true again repeating a woman her blood group is o she brought a baby before a judge and she is telling the baby is mine my blood group is o and the baby blood group is o and also she is telling a man she is telling a man is the father of this baby now after hearing the case the judge came to a conclusion that if the judge declares that her claim cannot be true what she is telling her blood group is o her baby blood group is o and she is telling a man is the father of this baby now the judge is telling if the judge declares that her claim cannot be true the man's blood group must be what type of blood group ab because here the woman's blood group is o and baby's blood group is o if the man's blood group is ab and the woman blood group is o now as we go for the cross ib ia io io now b a b and a we are not getting the ab what she is telling she is telling a man is the father of this baby that judge clearly tells that that man is not the father of this baby because that man's blood group is ab if we are going the cross for the ab and o we are not getting the o here the baby blood group is o and the woman blood group is o anywhere we are not getting the o how far the man is the father of this baby so what she is telling is wrong now the answer is the ab blood group the next one male human individual is with bar body in all male human beings there is no bar body what is meant by bar body what is meant by bar body it is heterochromatin now this one we call it as the chromosome in the chromosome what is present the chromatin material here and there the chromatin material is darkly stained the place where chromatin material is darkly stained that we call it as the heterochromatin that heterochromatin is named as the bar body the bar body present in all female human beings bar body absent in all male human beings but there is one exception is present male human being with bar body clini feltrus human being in his body 45 x x y 45 that means 44 45 46 47 number of chromosomes in the clini feltrus syndrome human being 47 chromosomes 44 autosomes this is one yellow zone another yellow zone and another yellow zone now out of two x chromosomes one x chromosome is coming from the female body so this person is having the bar body all male human beings are not having the bar body except clini feltrus human being that means the human being suffering from 
Kleine Feltres syndrome. In his body, 44 autosomes, X, X, Y allosomes. Out of two X chromosomes, one X chromosome is coming from the female. So, this fellow has the bar body. The answer is Kleine Feltres syndrome. Third one, next one. Erihino Toki. What is meant by Erihino Toki? Now, as we observe the honeybee family, this one we call it as drone, that is male honeybee. This one we call it as queen honeybee, female. Now, the queen has 32 chromosomes, the male has 16 chromosomes. It is haploid and it is diploid. Now, here the meiosis 1, reduction division takes place. We are getting the number of ova. And each ovum has 16 chromosomes. Here, already applied set of chromosomes. What is going to take place? The mitosis. So, we are getting the sperms. Now, each sperm has 16 chromosomes. Now, the ova and sperms will undergo fertilization. After fertilization, we are getting the zygote. How many chromosomes? 32 chromosomes. Now, the zygotes hatched out into the larvae. Some larvae will become the queen and some larvae will become the worker. The queen female, the worker female, here queen 32 chromosomes, worker 32 chromosomes. Now, here some ova do not fertilize with sperms. These ova by a process called parthenogenesis become the male. What is the other name of parthenogenesis? Erihino toki. So, those ova do not fertilize with sperms, they become the male. Now, this is the family of honeybee. This drone is called grandfather and this queen is called the grandmother. In order to explain the concept, these ova are called the mother and these sperms are called fathers. Now, here the male is formed by parthenogenesis. That means the ova do not fertilize with the sperms. So, in the honeybee family, as we observe the male, the male has no father but he has a grandfather. Why the male has no father? Because the male develops by a process called parthenogenesis. What is meant by parthenogenesis? Without fertilization. What is the other name of parthenogenesis? Erihinotoki. Now here, Erihinotoki means development of haploid males from unfertilized eggs. Students, we have to discuss the remaining questions in the next class.